think we're good. Hey, all right. So yeah, um, the wife and baby are asleep. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna play a little bit. And then I looked at the time and I was like, bro, not even nine o'clock yet. I'm like, not even, not even nine o'clock. So, uh, yeah, and, uh, well, as you can probably guess, we're going to play. If I can get the controller to sync up. Why is my controller not syncing up? My controller is not syncing up. What is happening here? Hmm, hang on a second. Why? Uh, we're back, baby. That's right. We are back. No, the controller's working here. Am I to restart the game, I guess? I don't know why the controller wouldn't work. I'm going to actually just restart Steam for a good measure. I think that's a safe bet. Game. Close the Steam. Restart the whole thing. I was trying to, I was actually trying to get it to work in bed. Um, I was trying to use Steam Deck and like play it remotely. I tried installing it on Steam Deck. Uh, that did not work. There was no chance. And then I, uh, after I gave up on that, I went to try divorced question mark. No, bro. I said she's in bed. I listen, listen, I have a wife who is eight months pregnant and I have a toddler who's two and a half years old. All right. Valentine's day at eight months pregnant while you have a toddler, it ain't some sexy thing where you're gonna make love into the dark night, all right? You wanna know how my night went? I wrapped up the stream. We had a really nice dinner. We had some, some steak and lobster. Uh, my child raged and threw yogurt all over. He got put in timeout. We finished eating dinner. Uh, he fell asleep. She took a bath for like 30 minutes. He woke up and got upset. And so she took him to bed to make sure he'd stay asleep. That that is how that is how Valentine's night goes when you're married with one on the way and a toddler already. So how am I spending my night? Playing some games. I mean, like I said, it was either, it was either this or I was gonna be. There we go. Controller's working fine. Um, I was about to just play this myself, but so a big a big thing here. I want to start doing the guides, you know, because there's already. Uh, there's already new stuff that I'm discovering that I didn't know about. And uh, I don't have any socks downstairs, so I put on those stream socks, but they're so thick. They, uh, they make my feet sweaty, so I'm like half taking them off. Um, but so here's, here's, the, uh, here's the dealio. Um, looking at my Karakuri tree. Right. Oh. We'll get you soon. Um, fusion bomb. I wonder what that is. Uh, anyway, I want to get to this. The Celestial Anchor. Because once I have that, that's all of the basic car curry. Let me see what the fastest way to get there is. Pickle Jar. Cask. Orch. Super Extension. Or Good Haul Bumper Catch. Fermenting cask. I need the wildlife cage. We're going to grab that. I need that guy. Paddle scoop. So once I get here, once I get to the celestial anchor, I think, I think that's all the basic car curry. Like I'm, I don't see anything else past that. There's that enhanced flying vine, water totem, Looking glass is dragon. Roller is dragon. Pile driver is fusion. Food shrine, water, harpoon is fusion. Savage pile driver, celestial anchor expansion. Roller speed up. You know, none of these are, um, none of these are. Chain trap extra extension. Hmm. Anyway, I don't think there's any more basics. So, point is, we need to. Uh, 
I want to I want to get all of my basics done. Because once I have all my basics, then I can start actually. Uh, I can start making guides like proper. You know, I have figured out everything. Let's talk about guides. And ideally, I want to start getting the weapon guides out before the game drops because there are a lot of people that don't know what they're doing. So, uh, hand cannon, maw, bladed bow. It's just two times. It's a lot of progress. What are we? What are we picking up here? Let's go for the basics. Basic dragon creatures, things to eat. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're gonna be playing Wanda Dead, but not like immediately. It'll it'll be a it'll be a minute before we do. Might be able to take my armor up even higher. Let's see. Actually, you know what? I kind of wanna. I don't wanna make that for the great sword and go here. Two twenty six, ten percent crit. Poison it by landing successive strikes. What else do we got? No, I wouldn't really want that. I would need one mirror stone. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. And then I can make the I can do that with the great sword. The damage will be a little less. I don't know. Do we want an Odachi? I think... Ah, man. I think... I think the Nodachi... I, I, I do have a lot of fun playing the Nodachi. I think I need one mirror stone. So we're gonna go get that real fast. I need to go whoop that thing's ass. Depart. Immediately. Seriously can't get enough of this game. That's how good it is. I just like hunting games. I mean, if y'all think about it, like when World came out, I did the same thing with World. I played a just buttload of world when it dropped. Uh, and then I did I did the same thing again for Rise. And for, you know, obviously Iceborne and Sunbreak. I really like hunting games. Like, you know, back in the day I tried playing Monster Hunter and it just it was just too too uh, janky. It didn't it didn't vibe. Uh, and then like the the uh, shift to world really just brought it like i don't know it brought it into the modern age you know uh, i don't think it's inaccurate to say that the older monster hunter games they're pretty janky you know the control schemes were were a little weird aiming was was aiming was let's be honest here aiming was fucking weird in those games it was not easy it was not easy to to try and like you were like walk walk do, 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 do. Like, it's the original? You ever try playing, like, Monster Hunter 1? Oh, game like a hot pile of garbo. Let's put back on my baby. Put, put back on my baby, baby. Put it back on, baby, baby. I built a drone realization. No, I don't want to do that shit enough. Let's go here. Back to the Yashima no Dachi. Big fucking smashes, Nashima no Dodgy. Big big smashes, Nashima no Dodgy. Da 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 da, Nashima no Dodgy. Ba ba da ba da ba. I don't know why I, it gets a death metal theme song, but it does. I don't think I want to go with the mask. I do like my Tengu wings though. 
Alright. Does this thing, uh... Spore Tail, Slade 1. Uh, it hates fire, and it loves blades to its face. Easy. Easy peasy, lemony squeezy. It's great if you have a god tier PC that can run it. If you don't, well, I just feel bad for you. If you don't got a good PC, I feel bad for you, son. I got 99 problems, but Wild Heart's performance ain't one. This game is a better monster hunter. So if by copy and paste you mean it improved upon the formula in a bunch of various ways, then yes. Boom! Oh shit, my stamina. Oh no, I me to sleep. I mean, I did, uh, I was on a podcast with Recon earlier, I'm saying how, like, it is gonna be a shame, because the, this game is gonna, like, if we were to, so, as much as I don't like doing, like, it scores, uh, this, you know, I don't really like scores. Um, I'm, the more I play, the more I want to adopt uh, Carrick's design of review, where it's just, you know, is it worth it? Is it worth it on a sale? Is it worth it when it's, like, super heavily discounted? Or is it not worth it at all? Um, and to me, this is absolutely worth it. But the reviews are going to come out, and honestly, this game is going to get eaten alive for its performance issues. Which sucks, because, like, mechanically speaking, it's more fun than Monster Hunter. No cap, more fun than Monster Hunter. Here. But because of the performance issues and the optimization, it, it's going to get eaten alive. Guaranteed. Because why would I play Hogwarts when I'm busy hunting a giant rat with a flaming greatsword? I could be doing this, or I could be like, Levio, Levio, Erecto, Blasto. Nah, fucking hard pass, my guy. You can have fun with that. I'm gonna play my hunting game. The two, the two games I'm most looking forward to this month were this and Woe Long. And Atomic Heart looks cool, but like, that's a, uh, like, yeah, I'm gonna play it, but I'm not like, oh, get back here. You think you're gonna get away, Fox? Come here, 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 come here. I've only caught two of those fuckers, they're quick. Look, here's another one. Bitch! 
Well, this, I figured this one out earlier. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, it hit me. I was gonna go for a, uh, a quick turn with it there. Yeah, all the news DLC comes out when you stop asking about it. Troll I've seen so far. I like that one. The Valhazak rat. That's you get you get a cookie for that one. That's what I wanted. B. X. B. I came here to get that bomb. And I got it. Don't you see? Goodbye. Really? Damn. Cynical, you gotta look at the monitor, not at the mirror, bruh. Swear, these days people just get dumber and dumber. I played 600 hours in Monster Hunter World and I don't see how this improves on it. Well, those are rookie numbers. I had over a thousand hours in Rise. Let's see, World, I had uh, probably about a thousand hours. So 2,000 hours Monster Hunter. And I can see the very obvious improvements on the formula here. So, you know, either A, you're not paying attention, or B, you're not as big a Monster Hunter fan as you say you are. streamer I work 12 hours a day <laughs> oh bro it's that that late night carnival stream I wouldn't say it's it's uh, an opinion at all there's a lot of actual really really nice improvements you know I find you want you want to know um, <clears throat> all, all shitting on idiots aside, I'm gonna I'm gonna break down a couple tangible improvements this has over Monster Hunter, like improvements that I would argue are uh, like non-debatable almost. Um, one, crossplay. This game has crossplay. Monster Hunter absolutely should have crossplay. There's there's no reason that I shouldn't be able to play with my friends on other platforms. So. This has crossplay. Monster Hunter doesn't. That's an improvement. Uh, another really, really big one. Camp placement. So 
So in Monster Hunter, you know, you have you have camps, and they're they're pretty smartly placed for the most part. But one of the big things in this game that's super, super, super cool is so there's there's preset zones. So for example, over here, the surprise hot spring. Uh, this is considered like an ideal spot. And what that means is that when I'm going to place the camp, it's only going to cost like five resources to place it here. So the game sees this as like a, you know, this is an ideal spot for a camp. Very similar to the camps in Monster Hunter. You know, there's a couple spots on the map which are, are, are uh, pre-designated like good camp spots. But like this spot over here, this is just this cool little empty tower that I found. This is not considered an ideal spot, so I got to pay full price for it. But... This is a really nice spot because this is an arena where a lot of fights tend to go down. So I have access to this. If I go, uh, if I go this way, I go right back into the tunnels. And I was able to designate a camp spot here. I, I basically had a certain amount of resource and I decided, you know what? I want to camp right here. So it's literally a pick your own fast travel, pick your own respawn. Which is super fucking useful. That'd be so cool. Even if even if we could only create like a forward camp, you know, like in Monster Hunter. Imagine that not a full camp, so you can't like uh, you know you can't do everything at it, but just a forward camp, you know. And we in, in a sense we kind of got that with like the wire bug drop off points that we had in in Sunbreak, where you could fly into a certain location, but that was it. Uh, so here, just full on. You know, fast travel over there. And I even, I have my shit here. I was able to set up a forge here. I was able to set up the uh, the search tower over here. That's super good. Uh, from, in terms of world traversal, the amount of word traversal is super, super useful in this game. So, you know, like I said, this is a pretty big area. A lot of fights happen here. But looking at the map, right? So, there's, there, I don't really have anything going towards the middle. So, all right, you know, bet. I'm going to make this thing. I'm gonna uh, shoot it right about here. That looks good. And I just made my own zip line. Yeah, you know, pretty pretty standard stuff. Just making your own zip line that goes wherever you want it to go. Now this one's gonna be a little trickier because the tree's in the way. But we're gonna we're gonna try and get another one up. Oh no, never mind. Right here, I can I can probably build it right on top of this tree. Let's see. I gotta get your humans or a curry. Oh, there we go. Oh, no, I missed it. Hang on. Turn it around. Oh, yeah, I can just Zelda deploy a glider anytime I jump off something. All right, that spot's a little goofy, so we're not going to keep it there. We're not going to keep it there. Instead, but this is the thing, like, oh, that spot didn't work out. No matter. Quick break. We're going to try and do it a little higher. So this one, this one lets me off right here. And then, oh, hello, golden rooster. I should be able to put it right on the roof. The question is if I can clear the branches with it or not. I should be able to if it's high enough up. So, and I'm going to put this up. It clears. Dope. Yeah, those wings are just cosmetic. But so, look at the distance I just traveled. So, now, here's my camp. I can go zip line to zip line. And, these are reversible. And not only can I take them both ways, back and forth, but these persist. So, and the way this is happening is I'm going around the map, and you can see these little things. I go here. This is like collecting minerals I found on the map to level it up. And by leveling up that capacity, I can place more of these things around the map and create my own little shortcuts anywhere I want to go. Another example. So we're already up on this roof. You know, I was talking about how I wanted, I was like, oh, you know, I think it'd be good to have a same thing. I could turn this roof into just a little, are you, are you a Tsukoma I don't have yet? I think you are. I could turn this 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 whole roof is now just a transport hub, dude. Yeah, literally, I, I, I'm just creating like two-way Fortnite zip lines to allow me to zip around the map. And when monsters try to run, it's like, no, you're not running. You're not running. I'm going wherever I want. And then it's like, oh, the monster fights down here. Boop. 
So that was my monster. That's what. Ba -ba -ba -ba. That's awesome. That's super cool. That is, that is. I, I just, I, I like that a lot. A lot. Being able to, to build your, your own little spots. And we also, we, we kind of saw something like this on Rise with the, the great wire bugs. You know, placing certain wire bugs that would yeet you into a direction was great. It was the mobility of the hunt. It just kept you in the hunt even more. That's always good. Hey, we just found another thing. But it doesn't stop there. You want to know what else is just a straight ass full improvement over over Monster Hunter that Monster Hunter should do? Over here. Let's go over to the tower. I'm going to show you something. So we we can we can do this in Monster Hunter, but it's it, it gets kind of expensive, and it takes some time. Um, you know, forge a weapon. So for example, we're looking at this. This this steely EI. Now the materials I needed to make that were were uh, I don't have a lot of them. So you know, let's say that I decide I want to. You know, I'm like you know what, I don't like Nadachi as much as I thought. I do think I want a main katana instead. One button costs two hundred gold. I get back all of my materials. I spend two hundred gold, refund the entire thing. And I can immediately just make a brand new weapon with those mats. And 200 gold's nothing. I have 7,000 gold right now. So 200 is, is nothing. So anyway. Point is, there's a there's a, a bunch of shit that this game does incredibly well, and lessons that I think Monster Hunter needs to look at it and be like, you know, this does make a lot of sense. This one's this one's more uh, a, a personal preference, but I like the food system here. The food system is just simple. I just take ingredients and then I can I can eat them up. So oh, this is just going to be health, attack, crit master, and if I want. I can just make a smoker and just load up on smoked meat or load up on whatever else, you know. Like, yeah, the dongo system is cool or the eating system is cool, but you know, sometimes I I don't I don't want to go through through all that. Like, oh, I don't want to go mixing matching my my dongos. I just want to, oh, you know, oh, this weapon's good with crit. I'll do that. No, this weapon I'd rather have attack boost. I just want to just just pick it, pick it. You know, if I'm fighting something that's hard, oh, I'll just go here. Just boom, 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 boom. I just hit A like four times and it gobbles up all that meat, and that's it. Yeah, no, no, no worrying about sharpness, which, I mean, that one's debatable. Sh the, the sharpness system in Monster Hunter is actually pretty good. Um, I, I do like the sharpness system, but for some people, not worrying about it is certainly a perk. Uh, the multiplayer in this is actually, I like the multiplayer here too, so. We're going to do, do, uh, do some multiplayer. So, a couple different ways I can do multiplayer, right? I have a fire, I could just go here. I could go play online, I could search for sessions, look for party tag or whatnot, create sessions, you know, oh, I'm trying to hunt, you know, Deathstalker or Gold Shard, and it's going to search. Couldn't find anybody, obviously early access, but it's just going to, it's just going to look. So that's, that's kind of like what we had in GU, but you're able to, to, to pick multiple. So we have that. Uh, from the map, oh, this quest. Depart online or join session. You're gonna search for a session. Fail? Oh no, I found one. Well, anyway, if that fails, it's just gonna give me a prompt instead, and it's gonna say no session found. Do you want to host one? And then you either go solo or you host a session. That's super easy. And then uh, probably that the best thing, which I don't, I don't really want to bail on the session, but there's like sending gates. I really like the sending gates a lot. But I'm gonna, I need, I need to help these people. I'm gonna help these people and then I'll, I'll show you all the seven gates. Oh yeah, these, these people are getting cooked. Um, I need to... Hey big boy, come on down! I need to get the thing that grounds his ass.
That's just a quick thousand damage, don't mind me. up in the air. Hang on, can I do it in time? I don't think it'll knock him out, but we'll see. Now he's gonna get away. Oh yeah, no tripping. I haven't seen tripping. If there was tripping, uh, I I would be tripping people left and right. <laughs> Is the shit I'm doing? The basic Karakuri is just like a better version of the wire bugs. Like right now I'm out. So if I want if I want to do more more things like my zip line or the bounce the bouncy pads, I can either find some. There's a couple options here. I can find some. I can pull it from the monster itself. If I have been doing good good in attacking the monster, which I have. You notice there's uh, stuff all over the monster, like spots, glowy spots, so... Oh god. Oh man. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know if they're gonna be here in time. Get me, Drake. I got caught. You can do it, buddy. So I can pull shit straight from the monster. So right here, see my zero down in the middle of the screen. Now that's up to 18. Oh shit, that dude ran through it. I like that a lot too. When you get the final hit, it's you get that like that loud. Uh, I don't even know what that sound is. That 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 loud sting that goes off. Ching! I like that a lot. It's just like yeah. Yeah, just type in specs with an exclamation point. Um, all right, now that that's done, I can actually I can show you all the. Uh, I can I can show you all the uh, the pickup that I wanted to. Yeah, no, no. We're, well, if there's if there's uh, like stuff like that, I could go carve, but I can't carve up. Like you don't worry about the monster; you just get the monster's loot.
I'm gonna get let me find a uh, ascending gate to show y'all those. So the ascending gates, uh oh hang on a second. I gotta... Oh cool, you collect four stone for me. Um Uh wait, what do I do with this? Something rare, like the hot bellied gecko. Right, let me go find a sending gate real fast. I really need to remember to eat. These hunts would go a lot smoother. Okay, so here's one, but it is not active. Oh, no, wait. Damn it. It was active there. There should be one, like, right here. Um, I think it just I didn't give it enough time. Uh, but the way the sending gates work, they're, they're a really easy way to get involved in multiplayer. I think it's priming right now, so I'm going to come back to it in a second. And it'll be active. When they're active, you just walk up to the hunter's gate. And it'll just, this is assistance list. So what's happening with this list is these are all quests that people are like, hey, I need help. So instead of like picking one specific mission or instead of like going from the, going from the, the map and searching for a lobby, I can just come here and be like, oh, someone needs help with Earthbreaker. You know, cool. I can do that. I'll go help them. Made it here as he killed it. Free loots, baby! It's a good thing I showed up in time. Otherwise, he may not have been able to do that.
Can you fight other boss monsters? I mean, that was considered like a boss monster. This dude's actually wearing armor that's much later. You got the, the wolf armor on. Though I don't know why he's going all the way back and watching the movie. Because this guy has armor. He's farther than I am. Clearly, he's killed this thing before. Nice. Got some plum scent. I got a bunch of loot there. I was in there for a whole minute. Loot. That's what Donkey did yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, it is. <laughs> dude shows up to the hunt as I kill it. I mean, to be fair, oh, that dude actually got, he got a few hits in. He got a few, a few pop shots in here and there. Yeah. Oh, Let me turn these in. Mm, hunted. 50. Dragon. Alright. Oh, do I not have... 20 creatures, 25 ingredients. Um... Oh, two assists. Yeah, that's an easy one. Well, I want to get the big, the ones that, that give, uh, big seals. Either way, let's go Fuyu Fusaki Fort. New region! Ooh, snowy place. Fuyu Fusaki Fort. I think we're going after the, uh, the icy boy we saw earlier. We're gonna eat and we're gonna pull out our good weapon.大道寺の銅の字も宇治重の宇治の字も親方様からいただいたものよ石道家はここを東の国を治める守護であったが西道家に反旗を翻し下国上というやつよなその戦の余波で我らの城は獣の群れに襲われた本当に余波なのかはわ
We're gonna see how it works now that it's poison. Anything good. Health boost and blackout. Recovery, blackout and sidestepper. Fatal foray. Wood resilience leeway. What is that? Fusion Fury, Fusion Fury, Fusion Fury. Red File or 2% attack boost. I don't think I need either of those. Uh, this, this might be a hard hunt, so let's get that. Let's get some more crit, and then let's finish it off with a little bit of health boost. Alright, we're looking good. Saying we got we got a frost tusk. Put some variants. Hey, calm down, ice doggy. I'm just here to give you pets. Yeah, who wants pets? Who wants pets? Oh, they don't want pets. That's okay. one I don't know how far out it goes but I'm thinking like right the one two so. yeah right around over there is where I'm gonna want it couple of these. <laughs> it looks like I can possibly do a camp around here. Get some of these crystals. <laughs> um, not quite a good spawn. I'd rather spawn be higher up. Liquor. I'm sure that's useful. I'll hand it over. Well, your friends were nice, but I see you want to catch these hands. Oh, hey, hey, owl. What's up, man? You want to also get a few scans? Okay. Tried to give y'all a chance.
Let's try and get a little bit higher here. over there, but there's a Healy over there. Let's go, uh... Yeah, right around here. Oh, no, up there. Right in the middle of the, uh, the bay. Well, no, right around here is where... Let me, let me make the, uh... First, I was just trying to get these out. Let's see what kind of range we got on them. I got, I got way, way good range already. But we're good there. Well. I could, uh, yeah, I could go up a little bit. I could go like, uh. So. I could get it over to there. this tower. Yeah, that looks pretty solid, and then I can one, two. Uh, to pull. Actually, given this looks like it's a cliff edge, I might be able... This might be a three tower setup. I might be able to slap one like here and cover the whole thing. I'm not 100% on that, but it looks like it's a, a maybe. So where did you come from? Go away. I'm trying to do stuff. You can slide down the hill. Oh shit, I gotta, uh... I don't have any zip lines though. I gotta destroy those zip lines so I can actually make new ones to get around. Uh... Make the wind to fly on up. Found our target already, but Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a this is a three baser. This is the armor from killing the crow. This just looks like the buildings because this is feudal Japan. This is what buildings looked like in feudal Japan. 
So any game you play that has a focus on Feudal Japan. You're gonna see this. I think there is some stuff over there. Alright, something here. This is also the weapon from the crow. This is just full full crow gear. I've hunted the crow so many times that I have his full armor set as well as his weapon. Something that almost never happens in hunting games where you you hunt one monster into the point of uh, not needing anything it has to offer. All right, how's that signal look? Um. I see some stuff out here, but it's very light. I don't think anything would leave, but yeah, no, this is this is pretty good. Let me. It's a little sloppy on the placement, though. Let me um. Yeah, perfect. Now it's just right in there. All right, so camp. Uh, how many? Ooh, 73, 23, okay. Um, no, let me, um. Oh. Oh, I'm trying to think. Yeah, I think right. If one camp's there, I think the other camp should be, like, basically on top of this thing almost. Like, I, I think, I think on top of that, that castle would make sense. No, this is no, there is no transmog, y'all. This is literally, oh my god. Why does no one believe me? <laughs> like, was it, it's, it's gotta be like a set, it looks like a set, right? No, look. All black Teku, all black Kuzazuri, all black Sunaide, all black body armor, kimono path, all black Mengu, twilight Karakuri staff. This is, it's literally just hunt the crow. I hunted the crow. Like, a bunch. I've killed the crow like ten times. I took all of his body parts. I am now the crow. I'm not the one in the movie from the 90s. It's just, I'm the crow. I've killed, all, I've killed the crow. I have all of his parts. It's the same as like being full glavinous gear and a glavinous weapon. Or something like that. This actually wouldn't... Be, oh, there we found one. We found a super secret campsite. But I must have just passed right by. Well, that's good. We can... Oh, and it's up top too. I like that. We're gonna go right over there. No, don't die yet. Don't dive yet. Don't dive yet. Oh. Ah, stop that. Get out. Get out of there. Gotta be a curry around. Probably gonna be my main hub here, I think. It's a good spot for sure. Boom, boom, and then the last one is gonna be. Oh, I still think on top of that whole last tower. That's too hard to get to. What the hell? Um, make it bigger. Hunt his 
very hard. You underestimate my power! Highest point I can go. Well, some hunts have a timer. This this particular hunt does not. Because I right now, so this mission technically we're not on a hunt yet. This mission, this whole mission started as a, like, we need to go there. It's probably a Death Stalker, but we should go there and we'll investigate and figure stuff out. And I, the perfect spot for my camp. I just saw it. Did y'all see it? Because I saw it. Oh yeah, right in there. Just come on. Easy then. Beautiful spot. Oh man, it's like it was meant to be. Look, there's even a there's even a dragon spring up here. Boom, baby. Oh, why is this all is this is this like a Oh it's nice, there's a whole healing thing here too, so I can I can instantly fill up on my stuff. It's not. No, it's not gonna work. Actually, I was going through, uh... Before I started the stream up, I was going through catching up on comments and stuff. And I had somebody, uh, they were like... I was talking about the building, and I was like, you know, as much as people like to joke that it's, uh... Monster Hunter meets Fortnite, you know, it's not that terrible of a comparison when you consider the, the flexibility of approach and, and being able to set your base wherever you want or whatnot. Someone's like, shit, Fortnite, I'm out. Fuck this. Like, <laughs> what? Like, if you look at this and the only thing you see from me building a camp is this is Fortnite, God bless your dumb little brain. is right below me. What are these little guys? I bet they have loots that I want. No, I you should so Well, I mean you think it's grounded just because we just got done playing grounded and we were doing Zip lines all over though to be fair the, the zip lines and grounded were actually pretty tedious to make Hey, core stone do I gotta do I get something better if I kill you? I'm sorry little one <laughs> I'll drop pointed scales. I need those. I don't need core stone though. Dude, who, where did you go?
is directly below me. Okay. I think we've gotten our camp pretty well situated. Let's go say hello to our new friend. Once I can figure out exactly how to get down to his ass. Performance is good for me, but I shouldn't count. He's taking a nap. Hey, buddy. Breeze Fang, Death Stalker. You don't like fire, though, right? My turn! Oh, man, he fucking juked it! Oh god. Yeah. Um, what do I need? I need uh just gonna make a quick elemental lantern. Yeah, hit me with some ice, bro. Come on. It's like we're staring each other down. Got it, it's activated. That's what we wanted, you big dumb bitch. No, don't you fucking run. I just built up my special again, bro. I know somebody's already about to be like, this fight's supposed to be hard, what the fuck? Elemental. That's the thing. I think I think a lot of people that are struggling with this game, I don't think they're playing it right. So like perfect thing. This this elemental lantern cookery. It gives me a barrier that's gonna reduce all the ice damage homeboy was doing. I would bet you most of the people trying to fight this thing are probably not doing it. Uh, I was constantly just... Bloop. Every time that thing tried to move, where did I go? My ass was dashing around. Constantly dashing around. I think it's above me. Like, I don't want to, like, fluff my own dick too much here, but I think I have clicked with this combat a lot faster than a lot of the other people that are playing this right now.
Yeah, yeah, pretty, pretty obvious, hey, get the fuck out of the way move, you know? my dodge there. This is why we use the elemental towers. Nope. Did not save me that time. Damn. Yeah, the, so the way the lanterns work, it's actually, it's, uh, it's really intuitive, but it doesn't explain it all that well. So what you have to do is when you put out the tower, you need to get the tower uh, you, you need to get them to hit the tower with an elemental attack. So, like, I need an ice attack to actually hit this tower right here. And once it does, that's going to help me... Oh, fuck, that hurts a lot, dude. But that, like, blue thing that you're seeing, that, that blue circle you're seeing, I, I'm getting... That's the elemental fusion protecting me there. See it again, that blue fusion that popped up? Same shit. And there, there's it again. Oh, I'm struggling to get away from his ass in time. He does have some big fucking attacks. see that one coming. No stun. Come on now. Oh shit, I'm probably dead here. Can I get it off? He has really big AoEs for sure. Man, damn. That thing's sliding all over. I went for the... All I had to do was hit that dash and I was good. This thing might actually beat me. I 
I was whooping its ass at the start, and this is looking rough all of a sudden. Well, the thing with the, the jump glide is it's really expensive. I've seen some people stuck on this boss for hours. No, 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 no. Either I'm going to beat it here or I'm going to beat it my next attempt. Guaranteed. Okay, that, that was a little excessive, buddy. I'm going to be honest with you. No, 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 oh, fuck, I gotta get the thing up. Oh, there we go. Damn, that bought me in just a second. Give me that fucking shit. What is it? Uh, it's, uh, let's see. Let's just do one of those, B-Y-B. What is it? Is it? Is it A-B-A? What the hell is it? It's, it's B-X-B. The bomb isn't working! And then what's the other one? What's the new one? ABA? The shield ball? I can't even do it right now. The big thing is, I haven't done nearly enough fucking. I need to, I haven't done any of my Karakuri staff like good shit. It's not what we need, though. We need it to stay. We need to stay on it. I can't let this gauge reset. I gotta catch up to it. I need to get it with the judgment blade. It's going all the way up top. Fucker. He's literally at my base. You bitch. Oh god, I'm probably gonna die here if I don't get this up. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. I need that. Alright, we got the heal out, we got the tower out. Alright, that is enchanted. Uh, what was it? What was it? It was, uh, ABA. Not the time to be stunned, dude. Holy shit. Oh, my Sukumo saving my life, literally.
Here it comes! You dodged it last time, but not now! Ugh. Oh, that just one shot me, I think. Yeah, yeah, it did. Fuck. I think I'm just dead. Damn. 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 Oh my god. I was like, oh, I saw it. I was like, maybe we can finish it. No. He said, what if you died instead? That's okay. Uh, let's see. Deathstalker is weak to fire and weak to... Oh, no, 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 no. He's weak to fire. Poison's actually really good against him. Poison... Uh, we should be able to... We should be fine fighting him with this, to be honest. I think that was just a... Uh, that was just a rough hunt, is all. I think the big problem, too, is at the start, I had the Buster Sword and it whiffed. If I had nailed the Buster Sword uh, at the start of that fight, I think it would have been a different story. So that's the first time I've seen something transition like that. I thought it was about to die. And instead it said, what if I went into a whole ass new phase? Because it was limping too. We had it like it was, it was, you know, I thought it was about to die. Literally, it was limping. It was running away. And then it just did not happen. And I don't know. It seems like it's lower than it was. How do I get over to it now? How do I, uh... focus so looking at the map let's see so yeah using using fire and elemental resist I want to target the head or the tail Fuck, man! It's such a shitty way to go down. I couldn't even move in time. And it just... Fuck!
I'd rather I'd rather just like leave and restart the whole hunt to be honest. Ah. Well, so what I think what I think happened at least what it looked like happened to me is that I need uh, basically he used that ice wave thing and what happened is the ice wave hit me back because I was partially protected it was like a half knockback instead of a full so my character stood up the ice hit me again and so I basically got I got double popped by the one attack taking a huge amount of damage. Yeah, I mean, the only thing I can think of to stop that is I just need to, like, just crate jump it. Yeah, though there, well, there are iframes. But they're hard to use, and I'm... We're gonna, um, I'm just gonna return and then re -queue it. And think if I wanna. That's weird, when we teleported to town, it looks like we tanked frames for a second there, that was strange. Um... I don't know if a wall stops it. Maybe. So I have, I mean, let me actually look. I have two different walls. And I want to figure out which is going to be the wall to stop this thing. Oh, uh, pale Kimono attacks and throw Kimono off balance. The structure is easy to climb to. There's that, and then most recently I just picked up the other wall, the smaller wall. Maybe I can use the bomb to just like have him run into it. Shield wall. The celestial stern calls top to bottom, left to right, will deflect any kimono attack, though it's extremely tough, it quickly disintegrates. That might be what I need to use. I think I need to, because if I was to use the, if I was to use the shield wall, so instead of A, 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 I gotta go A, B, A. I gotta go A, B, A. Throw up, that's, that's probably the play, honestly, is A, B, A. Throw up the shield wall lock it and then just run back in I think that's what that's what um, I mean that's probably what the game wants me to do as well because we we unlock uh, the shield wall you unlock it from fighting porcupine and porcupine is in the tier right before this guy so the game probably wants me to use that wall Fully charged up as much as I can. If I can go, if I can go into the fight when it's sleeping, I don't know if this is gonna work. But if it does, if I can open up the fight with a judgment blade. This thing's gonna feel the fucking hurt. Huh? 
Bitch! Uh, what's the star bomb? I'm gonna put a bomb under it too. Guess what? Boom, here it goes! Get fucked! Oh, I think I blew up my own thingy though. That's, that was not fun. Oh no. We got really good damage on it. We already got this pitch running. That first opening, things were a little, that was a little, uh, that was a little sketchy. The way he just like, boom, and nailed me. This time, Yeah, the torches add fire. It's this way, maybe? I don't know. No, let me just... I don't... I will say, I don't really like this castle. Like, trying to fight this thing in this castle is actually super annoying. Damn, so it does four? Five. That was a fifth attack right there. Again. 
That was me dropping farther than my character could. Gotta go! Oh, come on! It did not work. I'm probably dead here. Come on. Eat, 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 eat. Eat, 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 eat. No, bro! Come on. Leave my Sakumo alone, you broke bitch! Busy. Stay busy. Stay bit. No, we interrupted it. That time I dodged it. See, that's, that's the thing that's fucking me up with this dude, is he has, like, attack delays, where he attacks, and then a second later, that ice wave comes out, and man, that shit hurts. Hey, I'm stunned. I'm stunned. Bad time to be stunned, bro. If you're gonna be stunned, at least be stunned in the thing. I need to pull out a fucking parry umbrella, to be honest. God, I got it in time. One good fucking judgment on you, and you are fucked. Baby, go! Ugh! How you like me now, bitch? Better run away. He still has his, uh... 
He's getting ready to do his thing. His phase two. Oh, whoa, what? That was some good iframe rolling. I'm out of heals. Thankfully, this is right here. I'm gonna grab these. Easy top off. He's gonna go to his little spot. I'm gonna jump back up and top off. My heals are back at full. Let's go out here. Nice open area to fight him in. Locked his wall. I'm just chilling. Come on, bro. Let me go uh, throw out this. My, my thing went down. We're gonna have to borrow this from you. You don't mind, right? I'm in the mist. I'm in the mist. I'm stunned, but I'm in the mist. I'm stunned, but I'm in the mist. Stunned, but I'm in the mist. We're good. We're good. Me. I'm just gonna Hunter's arm and rip out all of that yummy energy you had that you thought was gonna do something. Go, 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 go. Out of the way. Beautiful. I'm gonna boom, boom, boom. I'm gonna boom, boom, boom. Yeah, man, whatever. I'm sitting in my healing mist, bitch. wanted it. I really wanted it. I got thirsty there. I should have just not done that, but But we still got it. What I say? Two hunts. about playing it right.
more Karakuri Awakened. Hell yeah, dude. Uh. That wasn't just some pupper. It's the babies. We're gonna have to fight those things sooner or later, I think. The bird just came in and said no. doing oh bro it's like ripping the, th the the threads off of them the celestial thread の鳥と言いますか。何故かような誠に形けない。おっと、すまんな。今は泣き者らに思いを馳せておった。長い<笑> I think I can, I might have enough to unlock Celestial Thread now, too. After fighting past that thing. That was a, that was our first, like, I think, real hunt. I mean, actually, so far, so, well, all right. If I was to go through the list, the very first time I fought King Tusk, it was hard. But that was because I didn't, I was, I was struggling to use the, uh, the Fusion Karakuri. Once I got that down, this beat my ass a little bit. This kicked the shit out of me a bunch. But that's also because I didn't have my armor upgraded. You, you... This is still legitimately hard. Lava backs are, are nothing to fuck with. Clocked you down. Clocked you. The bird, the first time I encountered the bird, it beat my ass. Now the bird is my bitch. And this thing is a beast. An absolute beast for sure. I feel like I'm always fast traveling, but like I should be able to just like
I'm gonna replace that one. Looks like it should let me off right there. Yeah, perfect. I like that. Let me look at the trees. Dog Star, Karakuri Staff, Transformative Guard. So I'd inherit that and I'd go up to here. Boosts defense while on every mutation level increase. Could be interesting. One stroke critical. Boost the power of critical hits. Boost the chance of unleashing critical hits for a while on destroying part of a kimono. That could be busted. I mean, the damage is certainly there. 286. That's actually, that might be the best we've seen so far. Because it's going to be 286 and 25% crit chance. That's really good. Um. Whereas that is, that's 298 minus 20%. That is two. What was it? What did I say it was? 286. But there's a, something missing. I guess we could go straight to it. But I'm not human. I don't have human perks at all. So I wouldn't have that one straight critical. I would be getting it for just the stats. I wonder if this is meant to be like high rank. Let's take a look at its armor. Yeah, buddy. So, Fusion Master and Sprint Master. Enable stamina even when sprinting. Extends the amount of time before Fusion Karakuri disintegrate. That could be nice. Stowed Weapon Art. Increase the speed of stowing your weapon. Eh. Don't really need that. These are like, these are solid, dude. This is 21 defense. This thing goes up to 36. Like, Jesus. That's a boost. He was kimono path with it. So he was going for sprint master. I don't have any of the parts needed. I would need to hunt that thing for a hot minute. I'm going to look at some of the other stuff. So that'll go 410, 25%. 410 and 25% is honestly like insane. Because that's 428 and negative 20 affinity. This fucking thing is. Jesus, 410, 25% affinity is nuts. Like that's legitimately broken. <sighs> yeah, 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 yeah. All right, let's go turn this in though. There's some quests. Let me go. Oh, that's right. I was supposed to be talking to this NPC. Actually, hang on. I want to go to the map. Why is everyone so confused about not seeing a health bar? Have y'all really never seen a, a hunting s game? Like, there's the health bars aren't a thing in these games. You don't need to know the health bar. You just, you attack it. And you beat on it, and you beat on it, and you beat on it. And then... Eventually it'll start limping, and that's when you know it's almost dead. And it's time to bring the battle home. But that's it. You don't need, you don't need a health bar. Where did I put those little animals? I don't remember where I put the animals. That well, wasn't Kinduno Tower. Was it back at Harugasami Way?
Yeah, you know, most. I mean, the real reason that, that you never see health bars in these games. Cut kimono tail feather. Got it. Uh, the real reason you don't see kimono or uh, health bars in these games is because they're hunts. But they're not boss fights. And the way you need to think about it is like, imagine, so imagine you were playing Dark Souls, right? And instead of fighting the boss of the arena, you had to chase the ball. You, you were chasing the boss all over the fucking zone. And so you had a health bar at the top of your screen, just like. You know how fucking dumb that would look? Just a health bar very, very slowly moving. It's not needed. Because I'm not, you can't think of it like a boss. You got to think of it like a hunt. You know, you're hunting this animal. Hit me with the herb bath. That is very nice. Do you have new baths now that I've taken those two? I was, I was yelling cake. I was yelling cake. Have you seen the ass on this character, bro? Have you not seen the massive booty chat made me give this character? over there too. Assist twice, process twice. Funny creatures, lumber, ingredients. Maybe I should set up my home as the uh, as the storage place. Oh, oh yes, I should. Hang on, is this is there more space here? That would make more sense than having them, like, out on a hunt, you know? No, I need more space. Can I use the outside here? Can I use this? This is my space, right? This is communal space. This is about to become my space. Hmm. 
Okay, let's slap a uh, fuzzy bunny in this one. I put more than one fuzzy bunny in here. People are gonna look at this town and be like, "Man, he just keeps animals in cages by his house. It's messed up." He just has all these animals just caged up. I do what I must. But then I can't keep food here. I think I might be able to get a bigger house. I need to, uh... I need to make some stuff first. I'm just gonna start eating food. I need a way to just combine. I have too many ingredients. Kumo. Almost rapid movement with the vines. I'm not really worried about that one. Pickle jar enlargement. So if I want Celestial, I need 1,500. And it's right there. It's going to take forever to find all of these little dudes. They are so tucked away. It could honestly be, it could be a whole ass stream of just hunting down the fucking kimonos. They have them so well hidden. Twofer? No, I need to no, I'm not doing this right now. If I start doing this, I'm gonna be here fucking forever.
Uh, yeah, I heard there's like a Karakuri mirror that lets you change your appearance. I don't have it yet, though. Oh, Suzuran. Hey. Uh, say hi to Waifu. いや、二人とも無事でありがとう。だが、どれだけ急いでも一晩はかかりそうだ。Some building extensions. Bow, 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 bow. Building extensions. That's right. I got a. I'm supposed to have a. ました。そうだ。話は変わりますが。巨大。調べが進んでいくつか分かる。どうやらあれは。かつて風車の方。風車は。港に流れ込んできた。雨水。そしてもう一気の あなた知ってる私はカンナ。ライクの姉が白。そう。いい考えだ。なるほど。それで私に話を。白丸糸。は。分かった。おそらくこれは素材の色が白く形が丸く。材質が糸のようで眉。これで。うん。眉。集めてほしい。<笑> Yeah, I mean, I think it just makes this, this this is the kind of game where I think it just makes sense to play it in Japanese. All the characters are Japanese. I'm going to play it in Japanese. Oh, 
いろいろとあったがようやく落ちたそうだ玉かずらのやつたびたび湯屋を開けておさあもあらんまいつも翌朝には戻っておるおや玉かずらさんの話ですかうんあやつは時折はは確かにふらりとおらんくなりますもんねもしかしたら定石にでも足を何近頃はまた恐ろしい獣が姿をそうですな次に玉かずらさんが港を出たうちらあきんども困っておるんです We actually got a couple new things we gotta hunt, so that works.、Um, okay, this one.、Um, boom, 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 boom. Where do we wanna put it at? Oh no, it's too high. Perfect. Ah, Antaka. Kagyo no Joshua, Kono, Lios, Kitakara no Nua. Tell me what you need, lady. I'll, I'll get it for you. Oh, we're at what, 3,000? Let's see how much shit we can sell. Them. Oh, we're at 20,000. Not too shabby. Fusion Art Fury and Earth Resilience isn't bad. Yeah, I'll probably drop Thread File and put on Fusion Art Fury next time I can. I'm just picking up all the quests. ひとつお願い来た獣にそんなのおやいやもしかしてそうじゃないただ獣が怖いなら最初から向こうだからって助けに行ったこっちが危ないそうしたらうちが取引のため定石に出て戻ってこなくてもだろうなあんたもよそ
It's just like all my social stuff is tagged as fighting cowboy. My hunts. What are my hunts showing? What is that? One with. What is the one? Oh, the claw blade's probably only one hunt. Seven with my staff, seven with the katana, six with Nudachi, four with the umbrella, four with the cannon, only one with the claw blade. Oh, it's cool. It's just, uh, you know, stiff. All right, so in chapter one, we... I don't think we have any chapter one hunts left. We have hunts, but no side quests. Chapter two, uh, let's see, we... So we got two side quests up here, an ice tusk, a cobalt lava black, the yeah, lava back. Quest, 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 quest. A lot of shit. Let's uh, let's just go home for now. Let's see how this ends. Go to sleep and see if it like starts up chapter three. Y'all made me, she's, she is too big. She's got ginormous titties. Ginormous ass, like m more, I, I don't know how ridiculous that sounds, but there is such a thing as too much ass and titties. In this case, it's our character that looks just unproportional as fuck because of how big y'all made me make her. But I mean, she. I don't know. I think she looks goofy. It looks like she got a bad boob job, and now her titties are too big. Leno,剣。調べがついたよ。悪いね。また設置まった。ようやっと羅刹の剣の調べがついたよ。奴の体に甘ついとはほとんど残っていなかった。普通なら。これは考えられない事態だ。そう考えるのが自然だが。となれば一体どんな事情だったのかが問題だ。例えば羅刹よりも強い獣に追い立てられたとか。バカな。城のあたりで奴に勝てる獣など居るはずが。何にせよ。羅刹が生きるために戦
That character, yeah, that character. I like her. We haven't unlocked. If you can change your design, we haven't unlocked it yet. And someone, like I said, someone mentioned there's a thing called a Carl Curry mirror that you get at some point, but. You know what? I don't need to do this hunt right now. I need to get better shit, bro. I need to have some better shit. I've seen plenty of slim lady with melons, bro. Listen. Listen. The point is, y'all made the character have such ju just comically large breasts that it looks like a boob job gone wrong, okay? It looks like she wakes up every day with back pain. She's probably not very happy because of that. Y'all demanded. It was like, Katie must be bigger. As big as titties possible, but if it's not shine, dang it, honker donkers, I ain't happy. I'm like, all right. Kill that thing, so twenty five percent. Ooh, that's actually like Sublime Dance. That Sublime Dance could be really good. It's gonna be a two oh seven five percent. That would be just twenty five percent critical. But I think that Sublime Dance that lengthens the amount of time before the Spin Dance Gauge begins to fall will be pretty busted good. Uh, I think a bigger thing is if I'm gonna I need to I need to go over here. I need that. That's a that's a big increase in both my crit and my damage. It's a huge increase. But I need Death Star Claw, Icicle, and Giant Kimono Luminous Dust. There's also the other things I need to hunt. I mean, we could just see what's out here. I would absolutely motorboat a giant pair of titties. I never said I would not. Y'all are blowing this out of proportion. Listen. Point is, y'all gave her giant... Like, see, right now, it look like they're, they're, they're nice and compacted in there. But when she's waking up out of bed... Like, literally, y'all put fucking watermelon, uh, watermelons on her chest. I'm just saying. Not everything needs to be massive honker donkers. What's happening over there? Y'all see this? I 
I see a regular one and an icy one. They're getting ready to fight. Nature board, ice board, nature board, ice board. Wait, y'all want me to kill the king test? For reals? Okay. Uh, yeah, this looks like a high rank thing. The whole, like, the stars are red. Oh, yep, yep, it's definitely a high rank thing. Mm. Unfortunately for you, I know every trick you got. You go one attack and then two attack, right? And a three! Owie, that hurt. Nope. Ah, I'm kidding. And now we have the million dollar question. Do we... Try and beat the other car, Curry, or do we just push past his ass because it's high rank? If I can beat him, we're basically automatically good. Oh, bro, come on. I just filled up my bar. Please don't do this. Not right now. Bro, I have a full gauge. Stop running from me. 
Bitch! No, my gauge is gone and I got hit in the face too. Oh man, you big bitch. Come here. anything that he would be weak to? I don't think I do, man. This is gonna beat my ass. Well, I mean, I know he's weak to fire. I'm saying I don't think I have... I don't think I have anything on deck, weapon-wise, to... <laughs> he said, what do you think you're doing? Touch some dragon pits. Don't mind me.
All right, we're good. Oh. Wife was asking me, uh, on the AC, and I'm like, it's 50 degrees outside. We don't need the AC on. It's just hot in this room. All right, turned off all the heat, but it's still, we're still dying. I'm gonna kick on some AC. Like I'm sitting here, my feet are cold as hell. Like I don't know how she's not cold. Pregnant, I guess. Just being pregnant. Uh, let's see. What are you weak to, my big friend? Uh, slashing, cutting, fire. Fire. Uh. Or fire cuts. Oh. oh, if I were to go fire, lava back tail, can't get that. That ain't gonna cut it. That ain't gonna fucking cut it at all. Is he weak to poison at all? Oh, he's not. Okay. Um. Let me see if I can find a. Uh, if I can find a thing. I mean, I could just hunt the two things I haven't hunted yet. That's that is a option. I could just, you know, haven't hunted you. I haven't hunted other dude. I could go after that. Um, yeah, there we go. It's a hunting gate. Let me see if I can find people hunting the wolf. So if I can make the wolf staff, that'll carry me into high rank. And then I can make high rank gear after like one hunt. Reinforces. I am going to get them set up with a base. They have very, very limited capacity here. I need to get this Minato person and We could beat it, but the thing, honestly, this might go south really fast. Because what you got to consider is Death Tusk or uh, Death Stalker is incredibly quick, and it wouldn't be that weird for it to just be like boop and like annihilate somebody. 
Y'all are gonna thank me later for this. Elemental Tower. I know your patterns. What is that? I don't know what that is, but I like it. I got that hit off, though. Oh, 
My turn. The one shot. You're busy with them? Well, maybe you should have paid attention to me! I showed up right at the end, but that was a 20 minute hunt for them. Whew. Levels? Are you just a tiny person in a normal sized world? <laughs> what? No. These are normal sized worlds. Why do you think we're a tiny person in a normal sized world? Or, or a tiny person in, a, in an extra big world or whatever? Y'all goofy. That's because it's not- that wasn't just a house, it was- that was like, the Shogun's castle. That was the ha I mean, it, it was a house, but it was the house of like, the ruler of all of Japan. Like, yeah, it's fucking huge. What, you think dude's going for a, a, a little 2-3 in the suburbs? Come on, bro. Well, I didn't get giant kimono luminous dust, and I don't know if I even got an icicle there. Mm. Thank you for the Elden Ring $100 walkthrough. Watched everyone huge help. Very welcome. I think I need to do a high rank quest. I think I need to... I need to beat this dude. If I'm gonna beat it though... Ah, I need I need a better weapon. The best way to do it... I'd have to go fuck up a lava back to get that. No, I need to go kill these things I haven't killed yet. But they're all, my thing is, they're all ice. So, like, they're all probably weak to fire. I'm at that point in the game. This is, this is the, 
the uh, the struggle I always have with these games is like on one hand, I'm like, oh yeah, I should, I should push, I should push on ahead. I'm I'm really close to high rank. I should push on ahead. But on the other hand, it's like, it would behoove me to go and make a fire weapon right now, to dunk on all these big ass enemies with. The ice fire boy, the ice tusk, the normal tusk, they would all be good to just smash with a fire weapon. Uh, yeah, and that's the thing. I'm just, I'm, I'm literally at high rank. So it's like, does it make sense to even, like, I don't know if it makes sense, because I'd be going, I'd be going back to Fire Monkey, killing Fire Monkey to get his materials. After I get Fire Monkey's materials, I would be fighting Ice Monkey and Fire Monkey. It's like, man, I'm literally, I'm, I'm right here. All I gotta do is beat this one high rank monster, and then I have high rank gear. And that's gonna, of course, outclass anything I can make right now. So it's like, well... I think the play, honestly, I think I just, I just do the, uh... I think I just do the, like, request to help and get somebody to come in here and help me just smash this asshole. This thing just hits fucking hard, bro. Charge, don't you? You're thinking about charging right here, right? Yeah, you are. Go on, big boy. Come on in. Good boy. That's exactly what we want. Oh, I was looking at my phone and it smacked me. Oh 
we go. That's what I want. Come here. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. There we go. I got him poison. That's good. about to run so enjoy that oh no you're not about to run I probably could have powered up a little bit more Killed me and he broke my motorcycle. Do a trick. It's called carding. Get a good fucking... I need to, I need to camp out here, to be honest. I need a full-ass camp. All I need to do is beat this one dude. I mean, so far, he's gotten... He's gotten one cart. And I... I have also pushed him into, I've made him run once. So, you know, I think we're, we're tied. Uh, I need, I need like a, a zip line. I need a zip line back out there. Man. It's gonna be too far, but it looks like it'll let me down there, so I can just jump off and hit it.
Gotta go fast. One more, one more, one more. Ooh, there we go. I got hit, he got hit. I'll take it. That's that's a little tit for tat right there. About to charge me and fuck me up, bro. You want to come for me? Uh oh, spaghettios, bitch. I'm gonna let you escape. Dude, come on. I know I got one more card, but still, that was a shitty card. Ah, man, he's like on the verge of death, too. Ugh, whack. Steam Deck running good? Not, not on this game it's not, but I mean, yes it is. The new the replacement Steam Deck is running well. You get three carts.
your turn to cart. Bitch. I rank ain't got shit on me. You have been judged. My Steam remote play has not worked for this game. But it wasn't working at all earlier. I was trying to get games to run with it, and it was just fucking shit in its pants. It was like, I don't want to run. I'm like, just fucking play the game. But within like the next two or three weeks anyway, my computer will be upstairs, so it'll be literally like 10 feet from the bed, so it won't matter. The bird of auspicion, or whatever. Wait, update the weapon moveset? Weapon movesets are fine. What do you mean? Bro, what? The whole town is on fire. It like vacuumed all the shit out of town. They're gonna be like, go oh, kill that bird. Like, All right, bet. ありがとうございます。火も最後I need new armor. Tomorrow.今日も明日も。きっと安全だろうと。当たり前の平穏が。人は虫けらみたいなもの。邪魔であれば払い抜けるだけの存在でしょう。うちらも生きるために邪魔な獣は狩る。そこには何の違いもありませんな。共存できているうちは吉祥の鳥なんて呼んでありがたがることもできますけ
私にもするべきことはあるはずですからうちも店にあるもんを使うて動き始めますかアンさんはどうしますもちろんそれも必要なことでしょうけどまずは港の皆さんを見て回った方がよう思えますよ。せいてはことを子孫ずるとも言います。今は、港のためにお願いできますかうちらに。I don't really want to assess damage. I mean, everything's obviously fucked. <sighs> Is there like any one thing in particular? <laughs> what about my cages? Are my babies safe? Okay, my babies are safe. All right, I'm here to collect materials. Pony up. Thank you. Back nut. Ah, some scarlet pet kimono spores. Good job, babies. This dude's just like a mega nihilist. These wings, uh, you can get this really early. You just gotta hunt the bird. I wonder who I need to talk to. Probably he may. Yeah, these wings are just aesthetic. They don't they don't let you do anything. Go talk to Suzeron. She was the one who called me back here. Maybe she has an idea on how to advance the quest. She said, just look around. ちゃんも似たようなこと言ってた。もしミナトが滅んじまったら。いや。父が昔人が憎いから襲った。己の本能のままに飛び回り、わしら人は仲間の。
Okay, no resting. I'm not sure what exactly it wants me to do because I've, I've been running around. I've seen a lot of the damage. I've talked to pretty much everybody. Oh. Is that always there? Did I just not see it? Or is it just now popping up since I've been running around for like a hot minute? Oh, this dude. Nantomoitamashi <laughs> お主の ことむねのうちに答えを見失った。お主の答え。生き延びよう。アマテラスはもともと古城で縄張りを築こうとしていた。追い出されたら説は島で縄張りを築こうとして失敗した。多くの獣が己の居るべき領域を離れ、さまよい続けて。意味するところ先を早う言うてくれんか。鈴蘭
随分とやる気じゃないか俺を誰だと思っておるかつては侍大将を務めた男よこうしては俺んな俺は行くからくりのことは頼んだぞあそこまで言うんだ備えは任せておくとしよう侍大将のお力を頼りにさせてもらおうじゃないかだが相手が相手だこちらも切り札を用意する必要がある詳しい話は本人から聞いてほしい Man, I just wanted some high rank gear. <laughs> I was just like, oh, I'm gonna get some high rank gear. No, you're going through dialogue hour. Damn. So I gotta hunt, hunt the uh, high level, which are now mighty kimono. Okay, 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 okay. Called it. 331. That's still really solid. 338. Damn. Just with just with some basic shit, I could. I need to get some of this blue Colomore or whatever it is. Serpent. Flotation cutis. I mean, a 331, 5% sounds good to me. That's what we want. 456. Four Makes all parts of Kimono easier to destroy. Boost attack when my Karakuri threat has run out. And increase the amount of Karakuri threat obtainable while Hunter's Arm is active. And, and it's 456 damage? Jesus. Uh, that might be what we need. Golden hematite, golden hematite. I'd have to whack a grit dog down for a hot minute. Let me just look through look through all of our options. Uh, a flat 456 damage. That might be the play. Shit. 538. What are the what are the perks on this? Make it possible to leave kimono fatigued by landing strikes. Boosts crits and greatly reduce stamina. 558 is also pretty insanely wild. How hard would it be to get there? I got a 38. Yeah, that's probably it. Over there, I can go to the final tree. So, critical boost fury, one stroke fury. So, I gotta kill rats. Ambers, spores. Serpent flotation and demon rock. I can come from here. Bring, go, go straight down. So I have crit beast fury, savage plus four. Yeah. 
Beispiel ähm, Yeah, crit boost savage and then start rehunting those dudes. What about armor. It's pretty solid twenty-three. That's for the baseline set. Blossom trail, body armor. Rapid Rescue, Harvester. Let's see what these perks all are. Boost the amount of materials can be harvested. Cool. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Oh, that's kind of cool. Heal allies, Number Fingered, and more Harvester. Stealth Art, Blaze Resilience, Stealth Art, Animal Whisperer. On a sword, kind of sword, more rare materials that could be useful. And then the amount of materials obtained. Boost the amount of healing water held when Hunter's Arm is activated. So I do a Hunter's Arm and I get free heals. God damn, that's what we need. Health boost plus five. Speeds up recovery from Entangled. Extra six off of that. Strong arm remedy. Ooh, extends the amount of time before they generate. Savage, them boots, not bad. Three attack, five health. Sounds good to me. I'm gonna need to to bully some high rank stuff for sure. From what I can tell, though, the biggest the biggest thing is gonna be I just gotta I gotta go on on hunts. So I think that's it. Just chapter chapter three, everything becomes high rank. Yeah. Mighty, they're all mighty. All right. Well, I think since we've we've punched our way into high rank, uh, this seems like a pretty good spot to wrap. Um, Because doing the high rank stuff, that'll be oh, stream or whatever. I mean, it's high rank. It'll be, you know, we fought this stuff. We're going to push through it and make the, the good shit. So either way, I'm going to wrap on up for now. Uh, as for tomorrow, we have, I think tomorrow, let me check something. I'm pretty sure tomorrow is the sponsored stream. Might be Thursday. I don't know. My days are kind of blending together. One pager real fast. Sixteenth. Okay, yeah, so that'll be that'll be a Thursday stream. So I'll plan on doing more of this uh more of this tomorrow. And then we will have the sponsor stream on Thursday. So either way. Wrap it up. Y'all have a good night. I will catch you later.